to meet the current combat conditions and replace the old BWP-1 combat vehicle. Polar launches a new generation infantry fighting vehicle, the Borosik, with the expectation of bringing high combat efficiency as well as future superior to the old infantry fighting vehicles. It is known that these vehicles were field tested by the Polish Army at the Orange Training Ground on November 14, 2022. The track IFV was tested by soldiers of the 15th Separate Mechanized Brigade of the Polish Army. Polish Defense Minister Marius Blackjack emphasized that the Borosik wouldn't be the main combat vehicle of the 15 mechanized brigade next to the K2 main battle tank purchased from Korea. Borosik is an armored infantry fighting vehicle manufactured by Huta Stalogwagola. Development of this vehicle began in 2014 and the first version was unveiled in September 2017 at the Polish Defense Exhibition. Borosik weighs 20 tons. When equipped with additional armor, it can be up to 40 tons. The vehicle has a length of 7.5 meters, a width of 3.5 meters, and a height of 2.7 meters. Borosik IFV is equipped with basic armor, capable of protecting against shell fragments and mine blasts. In addition, Borosik can also install other armor layers depending on requirements and tasks. The layout of the Borosik is divided into three main sections with the driver's position in the front left, a turret mounted in the middle and the tube compartment at the rear. The vehicle's combat crew has three people including driver gunner and commander. It can also carry up to eight fully armed soldiers. Borosik is based on a track chassis developed and manufactured entirely in Poland. The vehicle uses a MTU 8V199TE20 diesel engine with a capacity of 720 horsepower allowing it to travel at a speed of 70 km per hour, a range of 600 km. When overcoming water obstacles, the IFV can develop a speed of up to 8 km per hour. The Borosik is fitted with a remotely controlled turret, which was developed under the ZSSW-30 program. It is armed with a 30mm cannon. There is a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and two Spike LR anti-tank guided missile launchers. The turret has a mortar fire control system with the hunter killer capability. The ZSSW-30 turret has been developed as a separate program. Due to an onboard weapon system, the infantry fighting vehicle has the ability to fight infantry, armor vehicles, air targets, and other objects in all weather conditions at any time of the day. It is estimated that a single ballistic IFV could cost around $6.6 .6 million. Cost of the Polish remotely controlled turret could constitute almost 50% of the vehicle value. After the test program, the military will give the designers of the combat vehicle their comments on ergonomics and use of equipment. The successful completion of the state tests will initiate negotiations of the launch of the serial production and the conclusion of contracts for the supply of Borosik IFVs for the armed forces of Poland. Mm -hmm.